Good morning, Higgins. So, why do I not need any more cameras is the question that's been asked. How many cameras do I have? What condition are they in? I don't really know. So today, I'm gonna catalog everything that I have. I'm gonna lay it out, see what I have, see what I need, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm excited to see what I have. Let's go. Here we go in no particular order, for no particular reason. Let's go. Boom. Nikon FG. Nikon D300, Nikon D200, Olympus Stylus Zoom 80, and this is the Nikon Lite, my old Fuji waterproof XP. Nikon D100, Nikon EM, great little camera. Minolta X370N, Nikon 3000. Celan N, Canon, Nikon. When it comes to organizing these cameras, I'm just getting them out of the boxes, cleaning them off, placing them on the table. I can arrange them later. Just for now, I wanna know what I've got. I'll throw them in general categories, and then later on it'll be Nikon, Canon, Minolta, Pentax, etc. Now I just love getting my hands on the cameras. It reminds me what I've purchased, and I'm looking forward to finishing this, uh, finishing this organization section. I need to add a leaf to the table. Okay, that is just half the battle. Getting out your stock, having a look what you have, making sure you have batteries and they're clean and serviced, which I do regularly. Um, now comes the fun part. So as with anything, I'm organizing the cameras into brands, digital versus SLR, and there are a lot of brands here. Nikon, Pentax, Olympus, Sony, Canon. I'm trying to organize them into a meaningful pile. Okay, so pile. there you have it. I said I would, and I did. I arranged all of uh, the collection of cameras I've kind of harvested, um, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, um, thrift stores. You know, over the years, I've kind of collected a lot of these, but um, I kind of went on a shopping spree as well. When I saw the prices dip, I like jumped in. So let's have a look and let's, uh, let's see the specifics of what we've got. Um, you know, there's nothing high end here, you guys. There's nothing that you can't achieve. If you're looking to buy uh, Nikon F6s, if you're looking to buy Leicas, if you're looking to buy contacts, you're going to pay a lot, a lot of money for that kind of stuff. Um, that is not what I'm doing here. I'm buying cameras that work. Every single one of these cameras works. I'm going to be reviewing all of them. Um, I'll post the reviews online. So the Minolta's, again, I've got a bunch of automatic lenses for the Minolta's. They're relatively inexpensive. Canon, 
not so much. Uh, I have a 50, I have a Zoom, I have 55 to 75. I don't really use that Canon, uh, the Canon range that much, but I've got stuff for that. So let's have a look and see what we've got. As with anything that happens in organization, that's just 25% of the battle. Now what I need to do is pick through the cameras, figure out which ones I use every day, and I need to arrange them in a way where I can use them really quickly, pick them up, shoot them when I leave the house, the ones that I really love. So my point and shoot Minolta, and then I have a DSLR Minolta 7000 and a Canon Elan there as well, which is wonderful. I have my Nikon D40X as a fave, uh, bridge Nikon cool picks and my 7100 just for shooting movies the Pentax uh, Super program and Spotmatic had to stay out. I like the uh, K1000 and I love my rangefinder challenge cameras there So the Nikon CCD sensors my Canon power shot my G11 and then I've got the Canon DSLRs. I'm gonna review my Olympus CCDs another Canon point-and-shoot and then at the top there we're just taking advantage of my DSLRs and my D1X gets center stage because I love it. My D100 and my D300, they're never going to sit in the closet and then plenty of glass to help me out. And then my Minolta. So it's a good collection of cameras. I'm super happy with what I chose to keep out. An Amigo RM10 and my Nickel Matte, which is steadfast couple of Nikon SLRs, the 8008, and my EM is such a good little camera. Fully automatic, I tend to use it in uh, just aperture priority. Uh, and then my Nikon F4, my Nikon F5. Thank you very much, you guys. Now, what more can I say than a huge thank you for stopping by? Now, that was just a brief overview. I didn't zoom in or do specifics on the cameras because I'm going to review them individually. I just wanted to show you that we have a whole bunch that we're going to get through. Obviously, when I thrifted through what I'm going to keep upstairs and shoot on a regular, my Nikon DSLRs take center stage. I have all the glass for the Nikons. It's interchangeable, so I keep them up. My D40X is a favorite because it's small. It's CCD. Wonderful, wonderful images. But that D300 I just got from Robert's camera, I can't wait to shoot it. The D200 is one of my favorites. But when it comes to Nikon SLRs, I'm going to shoot that F4 all day long. The F5 gets a lot of use, but it's big and hefty. I've got an F100 on the way from Japan, but I had to buy a battery grip from, uh, from England uh, because there was some corrosion in that camera. All in all, that was a lot of fun. I got to clean my cameras. I got to um, catalog them. I know what I've got. I've categorized them. It's a good idea to do that with your cameras so you don't go buying doubles. I noticed that I had um, repeat Minolta's. I think I had an SRT 101 times three. I had a couple of the X370s that I didn't realize I had, and I had an extra Nikon FG, so I'll be putting those on eBay too soon also. Coming up then, you guys, I'm gonna review those two rangefinder cameras, um, the, Con uh, the Konica versus the Ricoh, and also I have to review the Camedia um, CCD range of cameras when the batteries arrive. As always, thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next review.